Yeah, so the state of AI is in an interesting spot right now. If you think back last year, year before, there were all these mandates coming down from the board, from the CEO, you know, some executive and just about every company on the planet was saying, we need to use AI. I want it injected into all of our workflows, uh, you know, go off and, and make this happen. Uh, and, and what we've seen over the past year are some successful early projects. Uh, you know, most of these companies said, we're going to build these on our own. We're going to go at it alone. Uh, it, it seems like it's, it's something we can succeed at. But what happens is that got through some of these initial sort of rag based use cases on unstructured data. I think every company has, uh, you know, internal GPT that they go to, to improve internal efficiencies and get quick answers and maybe some HR policies and things like that. But when they venture into the automated workflows and things that need to go and, and gather data and sort of perform specific tasks where you need validated responses that are coming back, something that humans are going to make decisions about that are going to impact your top and bottom line revenues, that's really where people are struggling, struggling to get those solutions out to the market and out into production. Now, what they're starting to do is say, you know, raising their hands and go, we need a partner to help us with this. Uh, it's at this point where we can't do it on our own. Uh, it's hard, first off, to keep up with everything that's changing in the AI industry. Every week, there's new changes. So they look at these services partners are saying, we need some AI experts that are sort of baked into how we build these different agents or different uh, AI assistants that we want to roll out throughout our company. Then secondly, you're starting to see a lot of different AI products start to pop up that can be in inserted into these workflows immediately. And they are out of the box, able to work on the structured data or help you automate some specific workflow, get those into your users' hands. And I think that's what everybody's trying to do. How do I get my users, my, my employees that work for my company, how do I get them exposed to and using AI on a regular basis? Because if you don't do it now, everybody's worried they're gonna get behind. So I think that that's really the fear that's driving this whole sort of AI shift is, we need to do this now because everybody else is. And if we don't, we're going to get behind and uh, ultimately we're going to lose this race.